Thank you, Misha. More now on our breaking news. A popular South Street restaurant goes up in flames overnight. Bridget Foyce has been a neighborhood staple for decades. Out of reporter Trang Dell has been at the scene at Head House Square all morning long. And Trang, I understand you just got an update. What's the latest? You know, within the past hour, Rahel and Jim, we've learned that three firefighters were injured fighting this fire. They are in stable condition and were transported to area hospitals. But take a look at the scene here. This fire is still going. Now, it has gone down quite a bit, but you can st still see so extremely smoky here at Bridget Foy's, which, as you mentioned, is pretty much a South Street institution. It's been open for almost 40 years. Now, we have learned, in addition to those three firefighters who were hurt. Two dogs from a neighboring pet groomer have died in this fire, and one cat was rushed to the vet. Now, overall, 11 people displaced this morning from neighboring apartments. Now, this started just after 1.15 this morning in the basement of Bridget Foy's. It quickly rose to two alarms. Now, crews initially were fighting the fire from the inside, but after fears of a collapse, firefighters were pulled out of the building. Somehow, though, even though this fire has been raging for nearly five hours, they managed to keep the fire contained to the Bridget Foy's building. Building. The fire commissioner says it hasn't been easy. We did make an aggressive interior attack, and you know, again, that's that's what we do. Pushed in, uh, got deep inside the basement of this restaurant, and then uh, the basically the incident commander made a very good decision to pull out and make this an exterior attack. The conditions were just too dangerous uh, to stay inside. And now, Commissioner Teal says that it'll be some time before the fire marshal determines a cause for this fire. I did speak to the owner of Bridget Foy's. He is understandably extremely upset, did not want to make a statement at this time. But if you are getting up and going to work, you're going to definitely want to avoid this area of 2nd and South. There are fire trucks just all around, completely blocked off to traffic. And again, this fire continues to rage here. But for now, we're live from Head House Square. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jim Rahel, back to you. Okay, Trang, thank you for that update.